So Jai Courtney has now officially ruined two of my all-time favorite action franchises, Die Hard and Terminator. What's he going to ruin next? So Terminator Genesis, Gen Isis, Jenny Swiss, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to call it Terminator Jenny shit. So, so the movie stars Emily Clark, Jason Clark, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Jai Courtney, and is directed by Alan Taylor. Now I just want to say... I am a huge Terminator fan. I love all the Terminator movies, obviously, especially the first two. First two films, like, I I've loved them, like, almost my entire life. Even when I was eight, I just watched them over and over and over again. They're timeless movies. I mean, a hundred years from now, people will look back and say, yeah, they're masterpieces. Like, they will never get old. Terminator 2 is my favorite action film of all time. And Terminator 1 is, is one of, I think it's my fourth favorite action movie of all time. This franchise is one of the reasons why I love movies, why I love watching action movies. Like, this is the franchise that introduced me to action movies when I was really young, before I even had a passion for film. And I even love the two sequels, um, Terminator 3. I don't care what anybody says, I like this movie. Everybody hates it, that's fine. And Terminator Salvation, I, I actually think this movie's underrated. I don't really understand the extreme hate for this movie. Yeah, like, obviously it's, it's nowhere near as good as the first two, but the problem with this is that people compare the um, sequels, like, to the first two movies. You can't do that, because the first two are two of the best movies of all time. Like, there's no, there's no way that, that they're going to make a sequel to top... Um, Terminator 1 and 2. It's just not gonna happen. If you don't compare these two movies to Terminator 1 and 2, I actually think they're pretty good. Kind of an unpopular opinion, but you know what? I don't care. Anyway, let's talk about Genesis. I actually got two free posters last night when I saw Termi Terminator Genesis at the theater. So, yeah, I'm probably gonna get rid of those. Okay. Terminator Genesis. Now, when I saw the trailers for this movie initially, I knew for a fact that it wasn't going to be the best movie ever. I even I even thought that it was probably not even going to be good. And the trailers to this movie, they just showed way too much. Way too much. Way too many plot points. It kind of felt like The Amazing Spider-Man 2 with all the trailers that just showed too much. Anyway, let's get into it. Jason Clark as John Connor. He was okay as John Connor. You know, he, he was decent, but... You know, like, uh, th there's only one great actor in this movie, and that is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger is actually pretty good in this role, back as the Terminator that we know and love from when we, from f the first few movies. And Amelia Clark was okay as Sarah Connor. You know, she, I, I actually think that she's pretty hot, and she did an okay job. But Jai Courtney... <sighs> I don't really understand why Jai Courtney was cast as Kyle Reese. First of all, I don't even like Jai Courtney. He's just kind of a completely bland, emotionless person. Like, it's almost like he has no emotions. Well, he's just a really bland actor. He was bland in the Divergent films. He was bland as hell in Die Hard 5, which he also he ruined that franchise for me too, like I said at the beginning of this video. And, and this movie is directed by Alan Taylor, who, who's mainly known for directing TV shows, which I have not seen. And he directed Thor The Dark World, which is, like, by far my least favorite out of the uh, Avengers film. Which, yeah, I really did not like that movie. But the main problem I have with this film is the screenplay. I don't understand what the writers were thinking. It doesn't make any sense about why the movie is like this. Like, the movie tries to, like... Uh, tries to, like, reboot it in a way to where, like, it's a sequel, but then, like, they just go back and completely ruin everything. The movie tries to do so many different things with the storyline and the script and the screenplay and the writing, and it all just doesn't work. Now, in, in the beginning of the movie, I, I, I kind of was into it. Like, uh, it began kind of interestingly, you know, it's far into the future when the machines are taking over and and, um, you, you know, like, they sent back the Terminator from Terminator 1 to 1984. But then, like, it shows, like, literal shot-for-shot shot recreations of scenes from the first Terminator movie. Which, first of all, it was weird as hell. And second of all, it just... It just didn't work. And so I basically, um, kind of liked the first 20 minutes, kind of. Like, in the first 20 minutes, I was thinking, okay, this could be an okay movie. 
But then the movie just goes a completely different direction, then it goes a different direction, and then it goes into another direction, then another one, then another one. And then it just gets so complicated to the point to where you just don't even care anymore. And I have no idea what the writers were thinking when they wrote this movie. I mean, like, I don't understand what they were thinking. It's almost like they... It, it, it's almost like as they were writing the screenplay, they were thinking, how do I piss off Terminator fans? Okay, um, I'm going to make sure to piss Terminator fans off as much as I possibly can. That's what it felt like. I'm not even kidding. And in this movie, there are so many plot holes. I mean, this movie has so many plot holes that it just don't make any sense. For, like, just to name a few, nobody knows who sent, um... Uh, the old Arnold Schwarzenegger back to, like, the 70s to protect Sarah Connor when she was younger. We don't know who sent him. And there's just so many more that I'm not even going to get into. And just nothing in this movie makes any sense. Even things outside of this movie that aren't even in the movie don't make any sense. Like, um, for example, James Cameron. Um, apparently, James Cameron saw the movie, uh, the director of the first two films, and, and he... Like, I, I saw this video on the internet of him saying, Oh, yeah, it was really good. I liked it. And, like, it's like, How the fuck could James Cameron like this movie? That can't be real. That, that can't be real. There's no way that James Cameron could like this movie. There's, like, there's no way. Uh, but they must have paid him, like, a big-ass check to, like, to say, Hey, say good things about our movie so we can say, Hey, it's James Cameron approved. This movie tries to be big and just, like, and try to build this new universe of Terminator films, and it just didn't work, like I've said, like, ten times in this video. Okay, don't get me wrong. There are little things about this movie that I liked. I liked the fact that, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger is back as the Terminator. I, I really liked his character as the Terminator. He was very funny, very... Um, comedic and, and back in his role. And, and the directing. The directing wasn't really that terrible. I mean, it was decent for a, you know, like a big summer action blockbuster. But the, but it, the directing wasn't really that memorable either. I mean, like, you're not going to, like, like, remember. I don't think anybody's going to remember this movie like 10 years from now. Nobody will, trust me. The fight scenes and, you know, the CGI with the Terminators, like, like, in the future was just, like, okay. Like, some of it was was pretty decent, but then some of it just wasn't really that good. Like, the freaking special effects back in T2 was just so much better than the effects in this movie. Like, especially with the T-1000. So, overall, this movie just wasn't really that good, and it, and it really bugs me that they completely messed up the entire timeline of all the movies. I just... It's like really the main thing that bothers me. I can't believe that they wrote it this way. If they would have just went in a different direction with it, that would have been fine. But no, they just had to screw everything up, and I don't really know what the hell they were thinking. And one more ne negative thing I have to say about it. the the um This isn't really a spoiler, but it is. But like they show it in the trailers and on the poster, so... um. Anyway, I'm sure everyone knows about it anyway. Anyway, like, in the movie, we, we see that John Connor became a Terminator. And, like, that aspect of it just did not work at all. It made almost no sense. Like, almost nothing in this movie makes sense. Which, this movie... God, this movie's a piece of shit. So, overall, I'm gonna give Terminator Genesis a C. Why not a D grade or an F? Because... There are points in this movie to where it kind of reminded me from, from um, uh, of like the first two movies, and and there are a few things that I kind of liked about it. But it's not the worst movie I've ever seen, but it still isn't good, and it's in my opinion by far the worst Terminator movie. I know I'm probably gonna get a little hate for this, but in my opinion, Terminator Three and Terminator Salvation are better movies put together than this one. I'm sorry. I mean, those movies actually had a storyline. I mean, this one has a storyline, but, you know, it freaking sucks. So anyway, I can't recommend that, that you go see this movie. Maybe a Redbox rental at the most if, if you absolutely have to see it and, like, you're a completist. But, but especially don't see it if you're a Terminator fan because you will be disappointed. Like, you will be vastly disappointed. But I suppose that maybe you can enjoy this movie if... 
Um, if you've never seen a Terminator, a Terminator movie before, and if you're just like looking for just a, a you know, just an action movie just to watch, then you, you might think it's okay, maybe. Okay, that's it for my review of Terminator Genesis. Um, thank you for watching my review, and um, if you have seen Term Terminator Genesis, tell me down below what you thought about it. Tell me if you liked it or hated it or um, whatever you thought. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.